Hummel and Rose, the two linebackers on the line of scrimmage. They'll send Hummel. Pressure from McDonald, and the sack leader from a year ago starts off the new campaign with a bang. Best pass rusher probably in the Big 12 Conference, and Will McDonald untouched. Nobody blocking the Iowa State star defensive end, untouched to the quarterback, and he gets an easy sack. An, an easy sack. 2016, the last time they met was a triple OT thriller. You and I continues to try to get this wide passing game going. Quan Hampton, again, the Cyclones put Rose and Hummel in the center. This time they rush only four, drop seven into coverage, and they still get to McIlvain. He's dropped back at the 13. Orion Vance finding his way in. The left tackle for the Northern Iowa Panthers. Vance beats him on the edge, and with the extra hustle, gets the sack and the stop on third down. Second down, Purdy gets rid of it quickly. It's a strike. Gain of four yards, making the catch. Jalen Knoll. Cyclones have showed the ability to get to the quarterback already. A couple of sacks. They rush only two. McIlvain, nobody open downfield. And he throws off his back foot, somehow gets it to McShane. And he has all sorts of green. Dion McShane to midfield. 40 yards, and how about the competitive fire from McIlvain when it looked like he was dead to rights? On the field, Iowa State only rushes two on this play with a, with a spy for McIlvain. That's how, how much they respect his running ability. He gets out of that tackle, makes a play, the first big play by both teams in this ballgame. Will McDonald, McIlvain was able to do it. Big play for the Panthers on first down. They try to stretch it. Falling ahead for three, four yards is Williams. And penalty of this opening quarter on you and I. Second down and 11. Ball on the near hash. McIlvain with time. Boy, he puts some juice on that throw, and he fires a strike. And Quan Hampton off to the races. They're not going to catch him. Touchdown, Northern Iowa. 52 yards, and just like that, the Panthers fire the opening salvo. Not only make the catch, obviously, but to split the defenders and take it to the house. But the Panthers strike first. The Cyclones still looking for their first first down, and they will try to get Brees Hall involved, and there he goes. Double-digit yards in the gallop. He'll pick up 13, and let's see if this ignites Iowa State a little bit. There's no one in the hole to make the tackle. Play fake by Purdy. Looks like he wants to go deep. He's going to take a shot. Has a man out there. And what a catch by Hutchinson. Pulling guard. So the quarterback's really good. It's not a full sprint out. He's really sort of staying in the pocket. It allows a lot of time for the quarterback to look downfield. Junior college transfer from a year ago. Just made a huge splash in year one in Apes. We're going to count on him a lot. Here he is again off the screen. Hutchinson takes it up to the 21-yard line. That time they brought out the big left guard, Trevor Downing. Iowa State looking for the counter punch. They've taken it to the UNI 22. Quick throw out to Milton. Speaking of health, they're happy to have a healthy Tariq Milton back in uniform. Elected to come back for another year. Plenty of leg, and it is perfect. Just his third touch in this first half. There's a perfect example. Look at the spins from Hall. Last year, he made 68 defenders miss. Purdy, 6 of 7 for 46 yards. First down from the 41. This will be Hall. Look at the patience that he runs with. And that, that's what stood out the more you watched him last year. He has the deceptive breakaway speed. Jared Hufford is checked in. They go with their jumbo package on third and short. And the pile moves ahead. Hall with a first down, three straight carries. He was a second-team All-American at left guard two years ago. First down and 10. Here is Hall, this time as a receiver. Brees Hall up to the 40-yard line. Really made an impact in the second half of the year with his pass protection. He became a valuable back off the bench. He'll get his first call, and a nice hole opens up near the sticks. Should be enough. We'll see where they spot it. Looks like Brock should have enough for the first down. 
We saw Trevor Downing leave the field for Iowa State, the left guard who we were just talking about. We'll keep an eye on that. First down for the Cyclones. Brock again falling ahead for three. Cyclones just one of four on third downs. You and I brings pressure. They pick it up, swing it out to Hall, has his second catch, and Brees Hall has the first down. Whipped out of bounds by Brecky. Builds the Iowa State receiver and ends up being, getting the penalty. First and goal, Brees Hall looking in. Cyclones score for the first time in this new year. They find the pay dirt. Touchdown, Iowa State. American tailback, and they get their first touchdown of the day. You also see Chase Allen, another super senior. McIlvain off a play fake. Receiver open near sideline and toe dragging in is Quan Hampton. Another catch for Hampton, already five catches in this football game. Cook has been a good one throughout his years in Cedar Falls. This one from the near hash, 41 yards away, plenty of leg, and you and I ties it up. Up in Cedar Falls and has led this program for over two decades. Third and two for Iowa State. Purdy brought the ball back in, and he's going to be sacked. Back at the 23-yard line, keep an eye on the clock. Again, the Cyclones with one timeout left. A right-footed kicker to try to give the Cyclones a lead here at the intermission. Kick is on the way, and it is good. Beautiful, beautiful day here in Iowa. Purdy with all sorts of time. Now the pocket collapses. Brock Purdy will tuck it and run. First down yardage as he gallops to the 28. A matchup zone there. Nowhere to go with the ball for, for the Iowa State quarterback. And a great job by the offensive line just to keep fighting, keep blocking. Fourth down and four. McIlvain claps the hands. The sophomore floats under pressure, throws, and it's intercepted by Young. And the Cyclone defense comes away with the takeaway. McElvain does what he always does. He buys time. He tries to make something happen. Great pursuit by the Iowa State defensive line linebackers to prevent him from running. He's got to throw it somewhere. He's got to give his team a chance. Purdy to the near side, wide open. Tariq Milton makes the catch in U and I territory, shoved out of bounds by Sander. Play action so much. Well, it's not just for the fact that you send guys deep down the field; it's that you have time to send guys down the field. When you just straight uh, pocket pass, those de those defensive ends, those rushers. Line to get is the 30. McElvain will step into the throw, and what a catch on both knees. The reflexes of Isaiah Weston and a first down for the Panthers. Holy smokes. Corner stop route, and he came out of the stop part of it. He slipped, fell to the ground, and just snagged it with his hand. Great throw, great protection by that Northern, Northern Iowa offensive line. Clock continues to move, eight and a half to play. Purdy. Will tuck and run, has some space. He's inside the 10, and then he tripped and falls down to the 8. A little bit more freely in this second half. Nice job with the protection by the Iowa State offensive line. Brock just sort of steps up in the pocket, and the seas parted, and he took off. Another super senior on this Iowa State roster. Blake Clark, the holder, Asali's approach, and it is good. Trips right for you and I. McIlvain's going to take a shot into double coverage. Nobody out there but Cyclones, and it's Daytrone Young with the interception. The second takeaway for ISU, and the Cyclone defense comes up again. Really a, his first big mistake of the game. Young, the interception, the Cyclone takeaway, their second of the day. You got to think it might be him. Maybe try a hook and ladder downfield as well. Nope, McIlvain's going to go across the middle. It's caught, clock winding down, and that's it. Iowa State will survive a scare from you and I, and it's Mike Rose who puts the finishing touches on this one. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe 
to ESPN+. Plus.